When it comes to addiction, it is important to understand the physiological aspects involved. The release of epinephrine, adrenaline, and serotonin during sexual arousal and orgasm can create a powerful addiction similar to that of heroin. In Islam, it is forbidden to browse pornographic sites because Muslims are told to lower their gaze and avoid looking at others' private parts. This kind of behavior can also harm a person's mind and affect their relationships with others. A Muslim is always commanded to spend his time on useful things, cherish what benefits him in the present, plan for his coming days, and always make the reward of the hereafter their top priority. Every time you commit the act, the addiction strengthens. And masturbation can become a coping mechanism for negative emotions like boredom, anxiety, fear, and loneliness. This addiction can eventually take complete control of your life, becoming the primary means to alleviate these emotions. It is crucial to recognize that cravings, like other physiological impulses, follow a bell curve pattern. It is essential to learn to ride out cravings, as they will not last forever. By waiting patiently, the craving will eventually fade and you can regain control over your impulses. Although easier said than done, with persistence and positive conditioning, it is possible to overcome this addiction. Steps to Overcome Masturbation Addiction 1. Make a firm decision and realize the seriousness of this practice. Understand that you are violating Allah's command and causing harm and destruction to yourself in the long run. 2. Avoid unnecessary touching of your intimate parts, even through your clothing. 3. If you follow people of the opposite gender on social media, it is best to unfollow them so it removes possible temptations that may sprout from something they may post. It's also best to limit social media as sometimes one video or post can trigger the thought of masturbation. Also, avoid looking at pornographic material altogether. 4. Try to avoid being alone as much as possible. Surround yourself with good company, as idle minds tend to invite temptation. 5. Cut ties with individuals who have the same problem. Association with people who share your weakness will only perpetuate the issue. Separate yourself from their company and find positive influences instead. 6. Take quick showers or baths to minimize temptation. 7. If the problem predominantly occurs in bed, dress yourself in a way that makes it challenging to access your intimate parts. This extra step will give you time to regain control of your thoughts and resist the temptation. Engage in something useful if the temptation becomes overpowering in bed, redirecting your focus to more productive tasks. 8. The attitude and mindset of the individual play a significant role in overcoming this addiction. It is essential to commit firmly to controlling this habit and understand the reasons behind this behavior. Additionally, one must be mindful of situations and conditions that may trigger the urge to engage in this act and take necessary precautions to avoid such triggers. More Islamic Advice 1. Make daily dua, supplication, and seek help from Allah. Strengthening your connection with Allah can provide the strength to resist temptation. 2. Incorporate regular exercise into your daily routine. Physical activity can reduce emotional tension and depression, which are often linked to the urge to masturbate. Increase your exercise during times of increased stress. 3. When the temptation to masturbate arises, redirect your thoughts away from the selfish desire to indulge in it. Focus on other positive aspects of your life. 4. Set achievable goals of abstinence, starting with short periods and gradually increasing them. Commit to never indulging in this act again to strengthen your resolve. 5. Work on improving yourself daily. Strive to enhance your strengths and talents, which can help redirect focus away from negative behaviors. 6. Be aware of situations that trigger negative emotions such as loneliness, boredom, frustration, or discouragement, 
as these can lead to the desire to masturbate. Plan activities in advance to counter these low periods, such as reading, spending time with a friend, or pursuing athletic hobbies. 7. Increase your involvement in religious activities, such as going to the masjid and reciting Quran daily. Seek guidance from knowledgeable individuals who can recommend authentic books for you to read. Imam Ash Shafi'i said, If you don't occupy your mind with good works, your carnal self will make you busy with bad deeds. Make your mind and tongue busy with dhikr, remembrance of Allah. 8. Create a pocket calendar for a month on a small card. Carry it with you and mark the days you masturbate. Seeing the visual reminder of self-control can motivate you to resist temptation. Keep the calendar until you have at least three clear months. 9. Reflect on specific times and conditions that led to the behavior in the past. Recognizing patterns can help you proactively plan counteractivities to break the cycle. 10. Implement aversion therapy. Associating something very distasteful with the act of losing self-control. For example, visualize bathing in a tub of worms and eating them as you consider masturbating. This technique aims to cancel out the pleasure associated with undesirable behavior. 11. Stay vigilant and do not fall back into old habits or attitudes that were part of the problem. Adopt and maintain a positive mental attitude. 12. Install a content filter on your computer or phone and set a complicated override password. Share this password with a trusted friend who can support you through accountability. Additionally, have the history of your searches sent to them, creating an extra layer of support and discouraging the behavior. 13. Keep your computer or phone in a shared space to avoid privacy, making it more difficult to engage in the behavior unnoticed. 14. Remember to seek strength from Allah in overcoming this addiction. Take comfort in the fact that Allah is forgiving and that the door of repentance is always open. By following these steps, one can develop the ability to gain victory over this addiction and exercise control over this harmful practice. Remember, a little willpower goes a long way in this journey of recovery. Allah mentions in the Quran, As for those who strive for us, we will guide them in our ways. God is with the doers of good. By breaking free from this habit, your connection with Allah will deepen and expand. You will gain a deeper understanding of things beyond the surface, experiencing a heightened sense of spirituality. The purity in your heart will be evident, allowing you to grow spiritually in ways you couldn't before. Remember, the bigger the negative behavior, the greater the positive transformation you will experience when you cease it. Embrace the opportunity to nurture your heart and soul, as remarkable goodness awaits you on this journey. Experience the power of uninterrupted viewing with our ad-free app One Islam TV, allowing you to connect deeply with the content. Explore the rich teachings of Islam and strengthen your faith through our regular new content. Download the One Islam TV app now. Mm -hmm.